Hello and thank you for um, joining this video. My name is Jose Jaramillo, I'm the Data Management Specialist at Cap Micro Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to work with PDM uh, offline when we don't have access to the server, we don't have a VPN, or we just want to work uh, disconnected from the main server. And today we're going to be looking at how to do that and what are the three different scenarios that we can um, have when working offline. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my Windows Explorer. I'm going to navigate into my vault. ABC Inc. I'm going to log in I'm as, as my user. And once the vault loads, um, I'm going to go into my projects folder and we are going to work with these three projects. So the first scenario is when I want to uh, work on some files. So if my current project is this lamp, I have some files in here. What I'm going to do in order to be able to edit these files offline uh, is I'm going to check out some of them um, in order to be able to edit them in the future. To do that, we can come in here and, you know, um, check out the specific parts or drawings or the assembly. Or if we know that no one else is going to be working at the same time on the project, we can just go at the top level of the folder, click check out, and then make sure all the files are checked out. So as we can see, everything is checked out by me. And now I'm going to be able to edit this uh, files offline. So the second scenario is when I want to have some files available for reading only, um, files that I'm not going to be editing, but that I want to have uh, in order to consult them and open them to view them. So a, um, what, I'm going to get, go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a read only copy of these files. Um, to do so, I'm going to go here into my 001 project folder. And as you can see, I don't have the local cache version of these files. So in order to have these files available offline, I will need to have a cache version of this particular file. So to do that, I can do a couple uh, of different operations. First, um, if I know that this is the assembly that I want to have available, I can always go and select the assembly and click get the latest version. Or I can do the same here, projects, and at the project level, click the get latest version option, and then make sure we get the latest. So now if I go into my uh, folder, I can see that I have cached the version one of this particular project. And um, finally, um, this particular project 002, I just don't want to don't really want need any files from there. So I'm just um, going to leave this as in a not even I'm not even going to cache this particular project and um, I'm going to go now into my work offline mode and show you how to get into work offline, how these actions that we've made so far are going to impact that um, offline mode and um, how do we go back online to commit all the changes. So to start working offline, uh, we can go into tools, work offline. This window is going to prepare all the files that we need. And once it's done, we can come back into our vault. And now we can see that all of our folders are in a blue color. So if I go into my projects and we go back and thinking about the different checkouts that we made, here in my project 003 lamp, I'm going to have all my files that I've checked out and I'll have a writable uh, flag here that is going to say yes. This means that all the changes that I make, I'm gonna be able to save them locally. And then once I go back online, I can check in all these changes back into the server. Now, if we go and check 
project 001, that's the one that we were using for read only, we will see that we have all the files, but the flag is going to be no under writable. And then finally, um, the base folder that we had no cache for and we didn't get the latest um, is not is empty. So all of these files uh, are only on the server side. Therefore, our client will not have any visibility over them uh, while offline. So if we work on our project, we make changes to these parts and assemblies, uh, we create new files, um, we just save them locally. And instead of checking in, since there's no checking option while offline, we just leave them. And once we have the chance to connect back to the server, we can go back into tools, work online, and check in the file as from the normal view that, that we know from PDM. So that's it for today. That's uh, how you work with PDM uh, in the offline mode. Uh, remember that you don't need a license while you are offline. Uh, all the folders that you're looking at are completely local to your machine, and the license is going to remain in the, into the pool of licenses on the server side. Thank you for watching, and see you there.